What's up guys? As always, thanks for stopping back by the channel. Appreciate it. Uh, early in the morning, it's becoming a ritual. Want to throw a quick one out on the business side of things. Had a subscriber asked me, how do I prepare for the slow months running a business or even being a mechanic related? So check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, getting into this one before I start the day here at the shop. Um, they're talking about 100 degree weather today, over 100 degrees. So kind of taking things slow today, seeing how it works out, maybe replanning work. But that goes along with as far as plan and work, how do you how do you plan for the slower months? You know, being in the business, you know, I've been I've been doing this a long time. I've, I've owned the shop here a long time. I never really know when the slow season's going to come, especially with the seasons here. You know, in Illinois, it's, uh, you know, rough winters, hot summers, you know, you never really know, you know, beginning of the day could be 90 degrees, at the end of the day, it could be snowing. You never really know the weather around here, and the weather predicts my seasons, really. You know, anybody's seasons in this industry, the weather is going to predict the seasons. Kids going back to school predicts the seasons. You know, I mean, anything does. Stock market crashes. A lot has to do with how busy your shop is, you know, in general as a whole and in the area. Um, but you know, most of the time my slow seasons are, you know, maybe towards Christmas, you know, middle of the, middle of the year, usually pretty busy. Uh, January, February is usually pretty decent. I'm, you know, starting to pick back up and then, you know, come May, June, July, it's, it's starting, you know, my, my busy seasons, you know, pretty much all through the middle of the year, you know, there's only two, three months out of the year where, you know, it gets kind of slow and how do I prepare for it? What I do is, uh. You know, obviously on those busier months, you know, you put a little to the side. You know, you always save save for a rainy day and, uh, you know, anything extra that you make or anything over what you make on your busier months, you put it to the side. I mean, that goes without saying. But, uh, you know, lately I haven't been able to predict my, uh, my, my, slow, my slow months. You know, usually, uh, usually I'd be getting into it now and we're pretty much busier than ever. And we have been for the last, uh, you know, three, four months. But, uh... I also try to plan work. You know, a customer brings in their car, you know, uh, start to ask about preventative maintenance, coolant flush, trans flush, things like that, tune up, when should I do a tune up and all that stuff. You know, and if it's something that, you know, they're not ready for yet, you know, and you're already doing work on their car, plan the work for your slow season. You know, I mean, you know, set up work with this, these customers to, you know, to come in on those slower months. You know, hey, okay, we'll make you an appointment for a trans flush come October, knowing in your mind, you know whether whether it's a, you're a mechanic and you're setting up side work because you know your job's got slow months and you want to do work on the side or being a business owner you know you plan those slow months it's you know I've said it in my videos I, I got customers in here pretty much drop off their car at a blank check and just say call me when it's done so <clears throat> me being able to plan plan work with my customers on my slower months you know it, it keeps work going it keeps the flow of things you know you know you're going to be set up and even if it doesn't have to be something as small as a trans flush or even setting up oil changes on your slow months or you know coolant flushes or tune-ups you know it could be bigger jobs like strut jobs things like that you know customer it's okay if a customer goes over a little bit on older struts you know if they're asking about struts and you just did a bunch of work on their car say hey you know what put those struts off another month or two we'll get you in on the appointment and we can get to take care of you you know, that way you know you got steady work flowing and you know, always plan. But when you're billing a customer out and uh, you know, you notice something on their car that you know, may need recommendation or they may need in the future, you know, slow month or busier month, you know, put that bug in their head that, hey, you know, we'll be seeing you soon for those struts that you're gonna need or we'll be seeing you soon. We'll keep an eye on those brakes that you know, are kinda on the low side right now. You know, always, always let them know, you know, so they got, they got you in your shop in the back of the mind like, hey, oh, I, got, I gotta get in there and see Jim. You know, got to get this. Uh, got to get these struts taken care of. Got to get this timing belt replaced. Got to, you know, check into my cert belt. Got to flush these fluids. You know, that way the customer's always thinking about you. You know, he calls you up. Hey, hey, you want to get me in this month? Okay, yeah, we wait. Or, or hey, I can't get you in this week, but I'll get you in next week. Plan it for the slow weeks, even. So, but, but I always plan. Um, another way to obviously prep for the slow months. You know, I buy cars throughout the years. You guys know I flip cars, flipping car series, and all that stuff. You know, so on the slower months or when we are slow and we have no work, I can work on my own personal cars. You know, that way, you know, you take those cars, you flip them, you put the cash in there, and then, you know, you got, you got room to breathe. You know, you, 
make a little bit of money on the slower months so that way you could get your bills paid kind of stretch out till you know it starts to pay business starts to pick back up uh, that's another great way whether you're a shop owner or anything like that you know you want to work on cars you know you're able to work on cars outside of work or if you do that's a great way for extra cash you know I, I stress that a lot in my videos you know that's 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 how I came up with the money to become a shop owner is you know doing my own little side hustle and, and, and making the money that needs to be made to get the stuff done to grow and get to the point that I wanted to be at you, you know you keep stacking the money and, and doing all the side work and hustles you can do to get the things you want and pay the bills you want to pay and everything else to not fall behind but uh, flipping cars is another really good one, you know. And you plan it, you know. Say, you know, my business be like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be slow come October. Uh, I'm gonna grab a car now because I got it on a deal. I'll have it sit for a month or two, and then on those slower days or slower weeks or whatever, we'll pull it in, knock a little bit out here. You know, I bought it. I know it needs tires. I know it needs some brakes. We'll get that taken care of. And when we're done, we'll go ahead and flip it for a profit. So that's a great way of, you know. So you not only have a little bit of money saved for a rainy day. You got cut planned customers coming in, you know, on, on a little bit of their slow season. You, you got work set up for your slow season with your customers throughout the whole year. You know, whether you have slow season the beginning of the year, end of the year, or you have, you know, a slow month, busy month, slow month, busy month. You know, on those busier months, deter some of the work for the next month or deter some of the work for two months later, however you do it. You know, if you got customers that only come to your shop or, you know, only want you to work on their car or deal with their car, you know, it's a great way to do it. You know, set up the appointment. You can even call for a reminder. Hey, we'll, we'll see you next week for those struts. I got the parts in, whatever, you know. Um, that way you don't lose out on the work and they go somewhere else if it's not a loyal customer or however you look at it. Um, but usually what gets me by, we've been blessed with, with a pretty much decent amount of work. Even on my slow months, it's enough to get by. You know, I, I got overhead, but it's not like it's huge. Um, you know, it's not like I'm running four or five shops with a 15-man crew or anything like that. We, we make enough to get by, and I've saved enough to get by, you know, throughout my life to take care of a couple slow months, you know, me, even out of pocket if I have to as far as the shop goes. But, you know, making sure that you thrive and you're not, you know, stifling yourself to pay your, your personal bills and everything else, you know, because my shop is my money printer. I, I don't... You know, there's really no other means of money. You know, when I need money, I come to work and, and I work to make my money. You know, I use I use my business as my money printer. So, and that's just that's how I I look at it. It's you know, any any time I'm, any time I'm short on cash or any time I'm broke, you just come to work and work and you make the money you need to make. So, you know, however long that may take. But it was a good question. The guy asked me. Um, you know, and it's 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 something most shop owners think about. You know, you you plan for the slower months. You know, with the season, the crazy seasons around here, the crazy weather around here. I never know. You know, one month I'll be super busy. The weather will change. You know, with the polar vortex at the beginning of the year and all that stuff. You know, it it was rough then. You know, yeah, we had work a little after it, but obviously those days. One day we had the shop being closed, you know, and cars were breaking from the weather. You know, you get this extreme heat, you get a lot of AC jobs and all that stuff. That turns into a busy season, so you never really know. You know, it can be so hot outside that no one wants to come out to bring their car into the shop, but then you get the next week where it's, it's so hot outside, they're blowing radiators, everybody wants to get their car into the shop. You just never can tell with the crazy weather. So, but you always prepare for it. In the back of your mind, you always want to save for a rainy day. I think that's the biggest one. Um, and then obviously it's just the side hustles, you know, flipping these cars or, you know, saving up the scrap for three, four months. That way you have a decent, if you got the room for it, you got a decent scrap pile. You can go ahead and get rid of scrap. You got, you know, a good payment, you know, that if that pays some of your utilities, whatever, getting rid of scrap or, you know, however you look at it, however, however, whatever your side hustle is, you know, whatever you do for your side hustle, everybody should have a side hustle to get that extra cash, especially if the place they're working at ain't paying what they need to make. But that's just a quick one, quick talk about, you know, how I plan for my slower months, um, you know, the three big ones. You guys, you got any out there, put them down in the comment section on how you guys plan for your slow months, whether you're a shop owner or not. You know, most mechanics out there, you know, that's where I thought of these ideas. Obviously, flipping cars. I've been doing that since before being a shop owner, being just a mechanic, doing side work at the house for my buddies, you know, all that stuff. Always save for a rainy day, no matter what. Anything could happen at any time. You always want to be, you know, as prepared as you can be. But that's pretty much the gist of it. You, you know, being a shop owner, you try to be as prepared as you can. You try to, you know, you could try to estimate or guesstimate, you know, when your slow months will be. Plan work for those months, you know, on your loyal customers that you know, you know, only have you working on their cars and things like that. That way it keeps you going, you know, it'll stretch out that month and keep things afloat. But 
for the most part, like I said, you know, this shop, we've been pretty blessed. You know, we've been getting by with, you know, between the loyal customers, the new customers that come in, friends and family, you know, it's definitely enough to keep us all busy, keep the bills paid, and, you know, keep rolling along. So, but as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you got any ideas how you guys plan for your slow seasons or slow months. We'll check you guys in the next one. Signing out.